Hey guys, Nikki here, and today I'm going to show you a foam roller workout that you can use to challenge the abs. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. All that you're going to need today for this workout is a foam roller. So what I'm gonna have you do is start by spinning it lengthwise, sitting on the very front edge of it, and then walking your hands back until you're lying down from tail to head. And then once you get on there, just confirm that both your head and your back end is fully on. And we're just gonna start with a little bit of a imprint and release to warm up the spine before we challenge the core. So I want you to just take your hands, make a little triangle, put them across your hip bones, and just start by gently imprinting the spine so you bring your lower back down towards the roller and you roll your pubic bone towards your head. Pause there, take a breath in, and then exhale, reach your pubic bone for your feet, just letting it land right on top until it's level on the roller. Checking that you don't arch your ribs, so this would be a little bit too far. And I just want you to alternate between that little imprint and that little release. And so all that we're doing here is practicing something called pelvic differentiation. And all that that means is moving your pelvis without moving your ribs, which is really good for engaging your abdominals and also helping stabilize your spine. We'll go two more like that. So we're usually a little stronger when we're here in this imprinted position. And it's a little more functional when we're here in neutral, but a little bit harder to hold. So anytime you feel your back wants to arch off today, I just want you to go bias back to this little imprint. But for now, if you can, settle to more of a neutral, so just hips are level on the roller. I want you to put your hands on the ground, and we're just going to start with alternating leg lifts. So you'll take a breath in, exhale, soften the ribs, and then you're just going to lift one leg up into a tabletop. Hold their breath in, and then exhale, slowly that, lower that leg down, and we'll try the other side. Breath in here, exhale, lifting it up, and slowly lowering it down. So it's not so difficult to lift the leg, but what I want you to avoid doing is kind of this hiking of the hip when you lift. You're really trying to use your obliques here to hold your hips stable as you lift the leg up. Great. So if you felt good with that, you can go to two legs lifting up. If that felt challenging, I want you to stay with what we just did. If everything is going well, take a breath in. Exhale this time, let's go into that little bit of an imprint. So low back presses gently towards your roller. Breath in, exhale, float one leg up. And now trying not to let your back arch off, take a breath and exhale, lift your second leg up and hold. Minimizing the shift, breath in, exhale, slowly put one foot down and then put the other foot down. And we'll go the other way, breath in. Exhale, lifting side number two up and pause. Take a breath in, exhale, lift your second leg up and pause. Nicely done, breath in, exhale, slowly put one foot down, checking that your low back is not getting a big arch off the roller, and then the second leg down. Adding to that challenge here, breath in, exhale, float one leg up, hold, breath in, exhale, float the second leg up, hold. This time you're gonna go into a toe tap. You're gonna inhale, float one foot down, exhale to pull it up and switch. Inhale, floating down. And what you're really trying to do here is keep the ribs sinking into the roller, Again, if this is too much, just go back to that single leg lift. Let's go one more each side. And bringing it in. And one more time. And bringing it in, taking a breath in. Exhale, put one foot down, put the other foot down, and rest. A little bit of oblique work or those muscles on the sides of your core. Take a breath in. Let's go exhale, lift the left foot up into tabletop. Breath in, exhale, take the right hand, put it against the left knee. And now what you're going to find is you've got some instability. This is an isometric contraction, kind of stabilizing the area between the ribs and the hips. Breath in, you're just gonna exhale, gently push your hand into your knee, hold. You should feel your abdominals engage. And then inhale, unpush. Exhale, gently press, hand to knee, hold. And unpress. We'll go three more times. Exhale to push. And unpress. Try not to hike the hips or arch the ribs. Two more. Exhale, press. And down one more time. Exhale to push, and down. Bring your arm and your leg down, switch sides. Breath in here, exhale, activate the core, draw the ribs gently together, float your right leg up in tabletop. Breath in, exhale, take your left hand, put it against the right knee. You might find one side is trickier. I am significantly less stable on this second leg. Take a breath in, exhale, push, hand and knee hold. Trying not to shift on the roller, and unpush a few times. Exhale to gently press. 
And then inhale, release. Three more times. Exhale, push. And release. Last two. Exhale, gently push. Hand and knee. And release. One final time. Exhale, gently push. Hand and knee. And unpush. Carefully float your leg down. Float your arm down. All right, from here, we're going to take this into a little bit of a Pilates ab challenge. You're going to take a breath in. Exhale, float one leg up and hold. Breath in, and then exhale, float the second leg up and hold. Now, you can keep your head down. That's a little easier on the neck, but it's a little bit harder on the abs, and then it's more difficult to stabilize with your head down. So if you want uh, a little more stability, you're going to take a breath in. Exhale, gently tuck your chin, curl up your ribs, and you're going to inhale, float one leg out, and then exhale, switch, and switch, and switch. Nicely done. And switch. And switch. You might notice I even get a little bit of a shake of truth, so it's challenging my stability. Two more. Last one. Bring both legs in. Gently lower the head. Float one foot down. Float the other foot down. Rest. All right, from here, slide off of your roller. And you're going to flip around, coming onto all fours. You're going to bring the roller underneath the shins, walk forward till you're on your hands. So all of this could be done just on the ground. The roller just adds an element of instability and challenge. So I want you to settle gently down through the ribs, tuck the chin so you're long from tail to head, push into the arms, take a breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to push your shins down into the roller, hover your knees up, hold it, and then inhale, lower down. Great, and again, you're gonna exhale, push the shins down the roller, hover up, keeping the collarbones wide, neck long, and lowering down. Three more times. Exhale, push into hands, push into shins, lift, and lowering down. Last two, pushing through the hands and knees, float up, and lower. One more time, drawing up, and coming down. Great, you can stay with that, or additional challenge. Flip a little bit more underneath your feet. So now, again, hands are just a hair in front of shoulders, weight over arms, neck is long, collarbones wide. Take a breath in, exhale, hover your knees off, a little harder here, and if you feel ambitious, you can inhale, float the legs out. Exhale to pull back in, staying long through the spine. Inhale, float the legs out. Exhale, pulling in. Two more times. Inhale to float it out. Exhale, bring it on in. Last time, inhale, float it out. Exhale, bring it in. Hold, gently lower the knees down. Sit back in the shell stretch and rest. <laughs> 